Welcome everybody and today's meditation is really what we call sometimes you hear called a prayer for inner healing uh, with again in kind of response to divine mercy coming up regardless of when you listen to it I felt in the mood to kind of place ourselves in the presence of the Lord and really reflect on our lives our past and let Jesus kind of come in and remove any and all of those burdens that we've been bearing and maybe carrying a little too long um, the prayer, a few little things of background before we begin it with our quick opening prayer and then get to the meditation itself. Um, it is guided in the sense that I'll be reading it aloud. What I recommend is not so much watching me read it, which can't be that exciting, but just close your eyes and listen, maybe with your hand on a button. And when there, we reach parts that may you know, spark more memory or, or ideas in your mind, go ahead and pause it, reflect on it yourself, give those same things to the Lord in a more personal way than you would uh, than through just the normal prayer of inner healing. It is a little bit long, but not, I mean, it's not going to be like half an hour or anything, but it is a bit long and it is a bit generic because it's trying to really cover as many circumstances of real concrete life as we can in sort of bringing that healing into all the areas of our life, that Jesus isn't just here as a nice carrot on a stick to receive eternal life at the end of this life. He's really here to bring us joy and joy abundantly right now, as he himself tells us. So real briefly, let's just begin with a normal prayer to start in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And Heavenly Father, we thank you for the ongoing presence of your Son through the Spirit you have given to us, Lord. We ask you to open our hearts and minds in this meditation so that we may be honest with ourselves, honest with you, and that we may allow that healing to really come in and transform us and take away any of the worries or burdens or guilt or shame or anger, or all these other things that hinder us from loving you, loving ourselves and loving others as effectively and fully as we can. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So as I mentioned, this is called a prayer for inner healing. It's just going to go and reflect over parts of your life. As I mentioned, it's very comprehensive, and so there'll be a lot of things that don't apply specifically. But as you listen to it, it probably will spark things in your own life. And that's where I, I mentioned, you know, on your own at home or whenever you're wherever you're listening to it, you might pause it for a moment or jot something down so you can really make this more effective for yourself personally later. And I would just say to be open to it, right? Really reflect, really listen to the words and let them kind of go echo deep in you of your own life, your own concrete experience, and realize with great trust that God wants nothing more for you than to be healed so that you can enjoy life and love him in return as much, or at least in response to how much he loves you. Uh, Saint, uh, one of the early saints tells us that the glory of God is a human being fully alive. Right? God wants you to enjoy the fullness of your life even now before you have the ultimate fullness of life, which can only come in the kingdom. But even now, he wants you to be a person of joy and of peace. So let's go ahead and begin. Just very simply, find yourself a nice seat where you can sit comfortably, but not so comfortably that you're in danger of maybe nodding off or distracted or falling asleep. And just seat yourself maybe on the edge. Again, like a lot of these, you kind of want to keep your shoulders uh, back a little, but not rigid. Same, your back straight, but not rigid, head held up. You can place your hands just on your lap, palms up or gently. As I said, I recommend not necessarily looking at me. You might have a crucifix or something you might want to stare at as you're listening or gaze at uh, a, pic a holy picture, or you may just want to keep your eyes quiet and listen. Um, and don't be afraid to have to stop for a moment, turn off something, or maybe jot something down if it comes to your mind throughout this. So to begin, let's just go ahead and in that position, just know God is here present with us always. And that in a special way, he really wants to enter into our lives beginning today to transform and elevate our relationship with him, to cast all our cares upon him and just throw ourselves into his open arms. So just 
to get us started and put us in the right frame of mind, just gently breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Now just listen and reflect as I go along, but as you hear each thing in your mind, realize that Jesus was there at all moments at every time, and that by going back through them, the Lord can do what you and I cannot do. He can heal the past, and he can heal us of the effects of that past. Father, I thank you for your son, Jesus, who died on the cross, not only for my sins, but also for my fears, so that I may be complete and whole. I thank you that Jesus, my Lord, is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And I thank you that he wants me to be completely whole, spirit, soul, and body. And so, Lord Jesus, I ask you now, to walk back with me through every moment of my life. Heal me and make me whole. Jesus, you knew all about me even before I was born. Thank you for being there as my life began. If fear or any other negative force was in any way transmitted to me innocently as I was in my mother's womb, set me free from those things. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for being there when I was born and for loving me. I exist only because of your love, for you desire to will me into existence so that I could share in your life forever. Nothing occurs apart from your will, my Jesus, and so I know that I was meant to be here. If there was any lack of love, any rejection, fears, traumas at my birth, I ask, Lord Jesus, that you fill me anew at this very moment Fill me in every part of me with your precious and unconditional love. I am meant to be here. I am here because you love me. Jesus, my Lord, now journey back with me through every moment of my life during those early years. There may be wounds that come from my family, perhaps because of a divorce or a sickness or a death. Some of us simply did not receive the love that was needed because that was the best that our parents could do at that point in their lives. Lord Jesus, go back now. Fill in every void in my heart every emptiness overflow with your being and life and love, giving me all the love that for whatever reason I did not receive. I ask you to remove all the hurts from that early time in my life and take away all the fears that spring from that time period, no matter what their origin is. I thank you, Jesus, for setting me free and for healing me. I pray, Lord, you now take my hand and walk back to school with me. At times I felt so shy, so afraid to leave home, fearful to go into new situations. There were times, Jesus, when I felt embarrassed at school. Would you please take away the pain of those memories? 
when I was treated harshly by a teacher, hurt by classmates. Go back and heal all those hurts, all those wounds. Thank you for healing all those things, setting me free from all the shame I may carry and the fears from that time. I thank you and I praise you. Lord Jesus, I thank you for my mother. For those who do not have the love of a mother, to fill that, please fill that void, Lord, that empty place, and give me the love now that I need it. I ask you, my Jesus, to stand in between my mother and I and let your divine love flow between us. I ask forgiveness from my mother from any way that I have hurt her or failed her. And I forgive her for any way she hurt or failed me. Lord Jesus, I thank you for my father. For those who did not feel the love of an earthly father, give me the love that I needed but did not receive. I ask you to stand between myself and my Father, and I pray that your divine love will flow forth, will mend any broken relationship with him. In my heart, I ask forgiveness from my dad for any way I hurt or failed him, and I forgive him for any way that he hurt or failed me. I lift up my brothers and sisters to you now, Lord Jesus. If there was any feelings of competition, jealousy, resentment, let your healing power and love mend every part of wound that I feel, any broken relationship. Draw the bonds of love between yourself and me and my siblings closer. I forgive each brother and each sister individually for having hurt or failed me in some way. And I ask their forgiveness for having hurt or failed them. I thank you, Lord, for being there with me in my teenage years when I was in junior high and in high school. This was a time with many new problems and fears. As each painful memory comes forth and is brought to my mind, I pray that you will take a spiritual eraser and wipe that pain from my mind. Take away any feelings of humiliation, embarrassment, guilt, fear or failure throughout these times. If I've been teased because of my race, my looks, my gender, my religion, my size, my poverty level, that wound went deep. And I ask you to remove the poison from it now. During that time, out of fear, Lord, I may have, been, I may have lied. I may have been deceitful in order to gain other people's approval or to avoid their anger or to avoid what I thought might be their disapproval. I hid things from others so as to avoid any conflict. At times I entered into bad relationships and friendships, wanting to fit in. There were times I led people on because I liked the attention. I desired to be valued and loved. I fostered unchaste relationships, flirting, dirty jokes, watching inappropriate movies or magazines, playing spin the bottle and so on. I may have even engaged in sins of the flesh. During this time, I lied to my parents 
about what I was doing, who I was with, where I was. I might have taken things, money and other things from them without asking. Lied to others regarding what my parents truly allowed and did not allow. Hid things from them. Perhaps used a credit card, forged their signature. There are many secrets from this time of my life, O oh my Jesus, and you know them all. And yet you love me and you want to turn these burdens that I've held so long into blessings. Go back, my King. I know you were present in each of these situations. Purify them. Anyone I have harmed in any way through my actions during this time, I pray your spirit will let each person know your love and that they are special and unique individuals just as I am. I thank you, Lord, for being there with me in every situation. Lord Jesus, as I started to leave home, there were new fears, frustrations, and hurts. Perhaps I wanted to go to college and was not able to. Perhaps I was not able to enter the profession I had always dreamed of. Perhaps I felt great disappointment over the beginnings of my own life. I may have been too preoccupied with the other sex, too focused on my own career and goals so I could not see past my own needs. And in doing so, I injured others. Perhaps I was lazy at work or at school. I often let my spiritual life decline. As I started to make my way in life, at times I was jealous and envious of others and their gifts. I didn't like when they were preferred. I would gossip about others and perhaps even join in ridiculing other people from my work or school or circle of friends. Jesus heal every one of these disappointments and every hurt and every situation where I compromised myself. Heal me from those times I wanted attention, even in questionable ways. Heal me of that desire if I still do. During this time, whether in desperation or in pride, perhaps I used others. Maybe I received gifts from them. Maybe I allowed them to spend their time on me and for me. I used their assistance. I took money. In all these ways, I was not really grateful or responsive to them. Perhaps I was even knowingly using them. I often did not follow through on my commitments, whether with friends or work or school. I often avoided my parents. Perhaps I distracted myself to avoid doing the things I really needed to do, whether in relationships or in my college life or in other things at work. And I would make excuses for myself and justify things. And yet you were there, my Jesus, through all of it. Gently take each one of these memories, place it in the crucible of your sacred heart, Purify it with your healing love. Remove its sting from my mind and heart. And let me feel that peace knowing that you love me and I am forgiven. Thank you for being there, Jesus, as I entered my marriage. For some, marriage was such a beautiful new beginning. For others, it was nothing less than a nightmare. Jesus, please take away every hurt. I pray that you would stand right now in between my spouse and I. If I have had more than one spouse, I please ask you to stand in between each one of them and to heal any and every hurt between us. I say to my spouse, I forgive you for hurting me and I ask your forgiveness 
for hurting me, you. Perhaps there was or is now infidelity, and you, Lord, gently but firmly call upon me to honor my covenant with my spouse and rid myself of any such relationship. Lord, I thank you for the gift of my marriage and how it has drawn me closer to you. Lord Jesus, through your divine love, I thank you for mending every broken relationship and problem I have had and for wiping away these painful memories so that I may love my spouse more deeply. For those of us who are divorced, I forgive my ex-spouse for causing me such pain, such uncertainty. I forgive them for all the feelings of rejection and abandonment and isolation that they caused me. If I am the one at fault, Lord, then I ask you to heal them, my Jesus, of all the sorrow, guilt, and shame that I caused them. Lord, I feel now your healing balm as it covers me from the wound of this divorce and releases me from all the guilt, the shame, the confusion, the questions, and the anger and the bitterness. And instead, I am simply filled with your light, your life, and your peace. Thank you, Jesus, for my children. Take away any feeling I may have of failure or guilt as their parent. I know there are times I ignored them and their needs, that I had a short temper, that I did not take the time and opportunity when it was given to me to come to love and know them better at times. Perhaps in moments of anger, I even belittled them. When I punished unwisely or was too possessive with my love, when I spoke words in criticism or anger, I pray that you will stand between myself and each one of my children, Lord, and that you will heal any hurt that was caused. If they hurt me in any way, I give them my forgiveness, and I ask their forgiveness for in any ways I have truly failed and hurt them. Lord Jesus, we are all your children and children of the Heavenly Father. Give me the love and peace and relationship with my children so that we may truly be a holy family. Lord Jesus, there were times in my life, terrifying times, Perhaps I was in an accident, undergoing a surgery, facing a serious illness, other traumas. I thank you, Lord, for being there. I ask you now to take away any of that lingering horror or fear or trauma that I felt. I thank you for being there with me during times of sorrow. I thank you for being there with me when I felt like giving up or when I thought my life did not really matter. I thank you, Jesus, for taking my hand and walking through this valley of sadness with me. I can feel you now lifting those burdens. I thank you for taking away this sorrow, this grief, and this mourning. And I praise you, Lord, for filling me now in my mind and heart with your joy and peace. Lord Jesus, I thank you for remaining always by my side. I thank you for holding me close at those times and still now when I feel abandoned, empty, alone, weary, tired. 
I thank you that in certain moments when I may have even doubted your love for me or even doubted your existence, you did not abandon me, but stayed with me. I thank you for the times where I wanted you to come in and change things according to my desires and expectations. Times I may have even blasphemed, saying and thinking horrible things about your motives and your concerns when all you have ever done is love me. I have blamed you at times for my failures, my trials, and the tragedies in my life. Thank you, Lord, not only for pardoning all of these sins, but also for being at my side during all those times in my ingratitude, in my lack of motivation by your love of me, in my complete obliviousness to your presence in my life because I was so preoccupied with myself. I thank you, Lord, that you never have abandoned or forsaken me. But now, as then, you only embrace me all the more when I am in the dark. Thank you for forgiving all the times I neglected you and choosing not to pray or attend Mass. Thank you for healing me of all the superstitious foolishness I might have dabbled or engaged in. Occult things, astrology, seances, New Age, Ouija board, and the like. I thank you for helping me to redeem now all the times and moments that I once wasted in my life and make them moments of grace and opportunities for growth. Thank you, my Jesus, so very much for loving me, even in what times seems to be the ruins and struggles and trials of my life, so broken and fragile, yet you continue to fill me and make me whole. Thank you, my Lord, for giving me life, for saving me, and for destining me towards eternal life. Thank you for making me your beloved. So now, Lord Jesus, I thank you for walking back through every second of my life up to this exact moment. I thank you for healing me of all my hurts, my painful memories, and my fears. I thank you for setting me free. I thank you for not judging me, but loving me. I thank you for filling me to the utmost with your love. Help me now, Lord, to continue to love myself more deeply. Help me, Lord, to love others as they truly deserve. Most of all, Jesus, help me to love you as I want. I thank you for giving me joy. I thank you for giving me peace. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you for going way down deep into the darkest recesses of my life and cleansing them all and bringing me out beautiful. I thank you for healing my emotions, my mind, and my memories. I thank you, Jesus, for making me whole and I give you all the praise and all the glory. In your name, I pray, amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you everyone and God bless you.